11 products of 2011. Now, 11 products in one year, that's like very little things to talk about. That's true. We're going to do it. And we're combining it between the two of us. So we're both going to share one product and then in the end we have one palette that we're going to share that we both really liked. So there are categories that you go through and you like list the products that really stood out to you. And usually if you were doing this by yourself, you would just do two products from each category except for the last one. But we're going to do one product from each category. That was really unnecessary explaining. But pretty much we're just going to list one product from each category that we really like. For a total of 11 products. So the first category is face. My face product that I picked is my e.l.f. Translucent Mattifying Powder. My e.l.f. Translucent Mattifying Powder looks like this. The reason I picked this is because I just find myself using this a lot. Even when I'm like not wearing anything on my face, even though it looks really bad, it's in bad shape right now. But I got another one. This is like $3 at Target. What a steal. So I really like this because it's, I don't know, it's just a nice product. Don't, doesn't feel like you're wearing like any makeup and it just feels great. Grande. My favorite face product is Benefits Erase Paste. And I love this so much because it's really moisturizing and creamy. So it's good for all skin types. Eye product. Okay, I picked the Nature Luxe Mousse Mascara by CoverGirl. This is my favorite mascara because it does not flake off. It lasts all day and it makes her eyelashes just look really natural and the good thing about that is that I like my makeup to look natural I don't want to look like I have so much makeup on but like this kind of just like blackens my eyelashes which I mentioned before my eyelashes are, are you wearing it right now no oh. I'm trying out another cover girl mascara right now but um, this one is really good if you want your eyelashes to look natural but you can also build it up so if you like like spider lashes like clumpier eyelashes my favorite is brown eyeliner and this one's by Sephora in the color chocolate and I just oh, love it. I use it every is that well, new actually I don't use it every single day but when I wear makeup this is probably my most used makeup product I love the look of um, lining my top lid with brown top lid with brown top lid chocolate with chocolate okay lips I think this which I think is very surprising because I would never have thought when I received this that I would have really picked this like for my favorite of the year but I've used this a lot and it might not look like it when I open it but the coarse lip butter in wild rose is one of my favorite things oh I actually have used quite a bit of this it's a dark it's so berry nice. color and the reason I like it so much is because it's not actually that pigmented and it's really easy to get like a nice Kind of like flush to your lips. I really like the way this looks. And it's very moisturizing. It's very moisturizing and the scent is amazing. It smells like wild roses. Well, mine smells like wild roses too. It's yeah, it does. Benetint, which is a rose colored lip and cheek stain. I use it on my lips only and it yeah. is awesome. Next thing is nails. And I actually, I picked this OPI nail lacquer in the color No Room for the Blues. I got this last Christmas and I have worn it so much. It's just this bright blue color. I love blue. Like, blue's one of my favorites to wear. Um, but this one is just like a really happy blue and makes me happy in the winter. So, I thought I had this color. I love it. This is one of my favorites. Well, this is my favorite of the year. Probably worn this the most. My favorite is one by Chanel. It's called Orange Fizz. And it is such a nice color. It reminds me of Sherbet or something. Like, it's really nice for spring. But I like to put it on in the wintertime too because it kind of cheers me up. It's nice and. Nice and bright, cheerful. The next one is hair, but we decided to change it to jewelry because neither of us use hair products. We just let our hair run wild. wild. Our hair is just crazy. crazy. Can't be tamed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we picked jewelry instead. Isn't that fun? This is my most worn piece of jewelry. I got this last Christmas, and um, it's a Tiffany's bracelet, and this is the large beads. You can find it online um, on the Tiffany's website. And this has the, um, like, the heart with the return to Tiffany, blah, blah, blah. I wear this almost every day. Um, my school has like some theft stuff. Come on, that's really scary. I feel like I live in like Crazyville, but anyways, um, so I don't wear it on days where I pee, so, cause I have to take jewelry off. Well, if I was gonna be completely honest with you guys, um, the most worn thing I've ever had, like jewelry wise, would definitely be this piece of hemp. I've had this on my wrist for two and a half years. Well, that's I terrible. don't even know, I don't even know why it's there. My most loved forever and ever is this, which I hope you can see that, my friends, is a real pine cone on a, on a little hook on a necklace. And it's from my boyfriend and I wear it pretty much every single day, in the shower, in the ocean, in my bed, pine all the time. And I love it. It is 
so unique. I get so many compliments on it. I think it is such a cute... I love it. Okay. Last but not least, we're going to be talking about our favorite makeup palette. <laughs> our favorite palette of 2011 is the Urban Decay Naked Palette, which I think is most people's favorite Duh. because it's amazing. I don't understand how awesome it is. It's this is so great. This is my palette, but uh, my sister like pays me to use it sometimes. Or she just lets me because she's nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you all way Thanks sooner you. than you would think. Which is creepy. But it's the truth. Watch yourself! Just kidding. Okay, bye. Bye!